This is the introduction to the Quick Lock Circlage Band System. This is designed to take the place of traditional circlage wire. This system is comprised of three different pieces of equipment. The circlage band, the tensioning device, and the passing guide. This system is a more user-friendly approach to achieve more consistent application, a more rigid fracture stabilization, and a reduction in overall needed surgical implants. A typical application for the quick lock circlage band system is illustrated here with a long oblique fracture of the canine femur. Options for fixation include an intramedullary pin or a bone plate using the quick lock circlage band as a supplemental tool. This model shows an IM pin already in place. The next step is to add the quick lock circlage band. Once anatomic reduction is achieved, the fracture fragments are held in place with either pointed reduction forceps or in this case, a Kelly bone holding forcep. The passing guide will be used to pass the band around the bone without entrapping soft tissue. After retracting the soft tissues, the passing guide is placed around the bone, open in toward the surgeon, and the band is fed into the channel and around the bone. Pre-bending the band will facilitate ease in passing. Once the band is in place, simply retract the passing guide. With the quick lock circlage band in place, the leading end is passed through the tapped portion of the buckle and pulled hand tight to position along the fracture. Because these bands are self-retaining, it allows for pre-placement and optimal positioning along the fracture site before final tightening. Final tightening will be achieved with the aid of the tensioning device. The tensioning device is engaged into the slots of the band and the slot at the top of the buckle. The handles are then squeezed to the desired tension. If the optimum tension is between slots, squeeze to the next tightest slot as under tensioning will result in failure of the fracture. Rotating the handles of the device will allow the slots in the band to engage the tab in the buckle, seating the device. Remove the tensioning device and use digital pressure to complete the bend. The excess portion of the band is trimmed away using either pin cutters or wire cutters. Make the cut at least one slot past the buckle as not to degrade the integrity of the band. Once the excess is removed, the free end can be pushed closer to the bone for a more low profile appearance. The final appearance of the bone band shows that the band and buckle conform to the contours of the bone, allowing for a less soft tissue morbidity than a traditional circlage wire with a twist knot. For illustration purposes of this video, only one band was applied to this particular fracture. Ideally, in an actual patient, there would have been two bands on this size fracture.